Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you a tutorial on, you know it, you want it, and that is the SUP file import for the storyline trees and storyline matrices. Prior, I did a tutorial on the importation of the X timings. Uh, Robert Jaime from Holiday Sequences has made some changes to his lineup and made it a lot easier dare I say extremely easier to bring some of this stuff in so we're gonna look at some different ways we won't talk about the X timings I already took care of that and we don't have time get it get it we've established a motif now fantastic let's get going first thing you need to know is you do not need to tell your mega tree where you want to put the new SUP file or AVI file hmm so there's a choice possibly a choice depending on when you purchased uh, these trees or matrices it may be only a .sup file or you might see a .sup file and avi file or if you did it later maybe only the .avi file and we'll talk about each first we're going to do this old school still works still works great uh, we are going to click on import i'm going to take this to the desktop where i have a folder called hotchocolate.sup and you're gonna know right off the bat that look Ron uh, I don't understand how to do this you didn't send me the file the file doesn't work this whole thing sucks and I'm gonna say did you look at the little box on the bottom right just bring your little mouse all the way down here and click on this and change it look it's looking for a .xml file I don't see any .xml files in there do you no you see any lore files in there how about LMS nope don't see any of those but I do see a superstar file right there it's not magic folks it's common sense no I say that in jest it's not this is difficult when you've never done this and you see no files in there your first inclination is to ask for your money back and who could blame you yeah, so just go over to the right side. Always make sure it's set up on the right one. Uh, and, and keep this in mind. If the next thing you do in x Lite is import effects from a sequence, you're going to see .sup, and then you're going to be missing the XML file you're trying to find. See, it's a revolving door. All right, let's get into this. Let's click on this. Click open. It's going to bring a dialog box here to the forefront of x Lights, and it is called the Superstar Import. Superstar.sup. There we go. It's going to ask you, what would you like to put hot chocolate storyline tree on? Well, hopefully you tell it the right model. In this case, that's going to be our m -m 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 mega tree. Where are you? Where are you? <gasps> There's the mega tree. And then it's going to ask you, hmm... How many strands wide is your tree? Well, mine's 36. And how many pixels tall might it be? Mm, mine's 100. And then imaging size, I, you can play with this, exact width, exact height. Uh, if you watch the sequence back and it's important for it to feel top to bottom, then you may say exact height and let the sides sacrifice a little bit. Or you could try to say, let it do both. It varies depending on how the sequence was created. But in this one, I'm just going to tell it uh, exact height. We'll see what happens. The layer blend, I, I don't know. I, I just turn it to normal. And let's see what we get. We will click OK. And then it goes over here. It's like, well, what? Choose location and base name for five. What? What is? Wh why? Why do I have to do this? Well, because you have to. So here's what I like to do. I'll just go back to the original file. And I usually keep these SUP files or AVI files in their own little folder called the name of the sequence. And I will go in here and just create a little file called uh, thumbnails. Yeah, close enough, close enough, right? And I will put all of these little files in here and I'll just call this HC for hot chocolate. You can call it anything you like. You're never going to refer back to this. You're never going to use this. Just X Lights needs to know where these are because these are part of the sequence. We click save and holy moly, look at that. Look at, let's see how many layers. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, uh, is it a record? Is it a record? I don't, I don't think so. Ah, uh, 68. That's a tiny one. Come on, Robert. This should have had at least 168. Anyway, 
this is perfect. So this brings everything out here. And if you don't want to see all this, just click on this little button here and then it goes bye bye and that's it. And then what you're going to want to do, of course, is render and save this. I don't think it's going to play this back. Nope, nope. It's going to want you to render and uh, at least render before you can see the playback because it's got to uh, develop all this fun stuff in order for it to create the FSEQ file, which is done once you hit save. And that's all there is to this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna render it so we can see some of it play back, and then I'm gonna show you how to create an AVI file from it. And we'll assume that that is potentially the file you might pick up today if you were buying it right now from Holiday Sequences. If you're purchasing it from me, you're still getting the .sup file. So this might be important for you to see how this works. So let me render it. And I think it's gonna render pretty fast. Uh, keep in mind that this process for the tree works the same for the matrix. There's no difference. The AVI files, I think, are kind of an interesting way to manage this in that the AVI file does a really good job of resizing itself to just about any size pixel matrix and certainly the P5s and P10s. I've worked with the P5 and P10, very dense models, and the results are pretty good, so I, I have no complaints. And we'll get into the AVI in just a second. Let's just play some of this back. And I'll click on one of these. There we go. Excellent. So as you can see, that was pretty easy bringing in an SUP file. Plays back beautifully, no problem. So let's address what if it was a, uh, an AVI file. And I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to right click. I've done this in another tutorial. And I am going to go to model, render and export. And I am going to save this uncompressed AVI file. I'm going to put this probably in the same area just so I can have it. And what I'll do is I'll create a folder because I love organizing. Uh, AVI file. Let's do that and let's put it in there and let's call this hot chocolate mega tree. Uh, chocolate mega tree and save. Now this might take a little bit of time. You'll see in the bottom left here that it's starting to export for the uncompressed video and it's done. Well, how about that? And what's neat about this is that I can apply the AVI file as a video effect to just about any size tree with pretty doggone good results. So what I'm going to do here is, let me just, I just want to click save just to make sure we've got everything. And I am going to right click. I'm going to tell this to delete multiple layers, all 62 please, yes. And my last thing I'm going to do here is delete unused layers so we are back to nothing on the mega tree being used. At least we're trying to do that. And if you see anything, just delete them. The idea is we want nothing on here now. Okay. What we're going to do is that ABI file that I exported from the SUP file, and you could do this for any effects you have on uh, the matrix or the mega tree. Do keep in mind uh, it doesn't work with submodels so you couldn't take something like uh, uh, one of these high dense uh, models and take all of the submodels and the main model out it, it, it just works for one model no submodels okay as a matter of fact even if you tried that if I tried this line here to model export render and export uh, you're gonna see here my choices are a bit more narrow than they were before there is no AVI output possible no video output possible on a group it has to be a model like a mega tree or matrix what we are going to do is make use of that avi file that we created and we're going to use the good old-fashioned here <laughs> video effect and you want to push all the way to the left and go all the way to the end of the sequence there we go. And you'll see it's red here because it doesn't know what it should be looking at. We're going to browse. We're going to go again to our desktop. We are going to go to our hot chocolate sub folder, the AVI file folder that we created. And here is the mega tree. We are going to click open 
and now we have the same effects. And it looks like it's going to play without us having to render it. And you can see there, it needs to render at this point. So let's do this. Let's click render. Hopefully this renders pretty fast. I think it will. We don't have too much going on here. Again, this is a great tool should you want to put this on many mega trees, a secondary mega tree uh, that have different densities, it really, really does work well. It can also scale up. What if you have this on a 24 by 100 tree, but you just added, you know, a 48 by 200 tree? This does a really good job of scaling for you. It's magic. Isn't that great? So let's click on this. Let's watch this last bit. It's all there. There we go. Much, much, much better. And it looked pretty clean on here, right? So I've heard some people say, and I've seen this more so on the matrices than on the mega trees, and that is it might look a little fuzzy on a matrix. Uh, and from what I have seen and been told uh, on some of the P5s, which I don't have, that it looks pretty crisp on a P5. And I've seen what it looks like on a P10. It looks just fine. It's just the playback on a Matrix here. If you're doing the Matrix version of Hot Chocolate, it may look a little soft on here. Uh, if you notice it's soft playing live, uh, drop me a line. Let me know. I don't think it is. That's really all I have for you. This was just to get you a little more comfortable with importing a .sup. Uh, again, that's import, import effects, go to where you downloaded that file to, make sure that it says .sup and not, not .xml, pull that in, it's going to pull up a dialog box, tell it how wide your tree is, tell it how tall your tree is, and then just let it create those files, okay? Um, if you purchase a version that has the AVI file and not the SUP file, well, I've just shown you how easy it is to pull that AVI file into a video effect. Start it from the very beginning, make sure it goes to the end of the song, browse to the AVI file, render save, you're on your way. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a great week. Christmas is almost here. I'm so excited. I hope Santa brings me some good stuff, like a new curved monitor. All right, gotta go. See ya.